At the core of Lightning is massive scaling via multiple GPUs, which we'll show you how to do in this video. GPUs are graphical processing units originally designed for gaming, but it turns out that they're really good at matrix multiplication for deep learning. GPUs can give you easily over 100x speedups over CPU training. Lightning modules are hardware agnostic, which means it can run on CPUs or GPUs without you changing your code. But to get that behavior, we have to first develop good habits. The first one is take all your .cuda and .2 calls and delete them. Second, when you initialize any tensor during your training, make sure to put it directly on the device by setting device equals self.device, where self.device is a property of the Lightning module. Every Lightning module knows what device it's on. A second way to put your tensors on GPUs directly is to use type pass or initialize them as buffers. Let's say that you have a machine with eight GPUs. Lightning lets you train on one, four, or eight of those GPUs. You can set the flag GPUs equals to one to train on one of them, or you can set it to four to train on four of them, or you can set it to eight to use all eight of them. If you want to specify the GPUs directly, you can pass in a list of indices mapping to the PCI ordering of those GPUs. So for example, if you want to train on the first and last GPU of a four GPU machine, you can pass in 0, 3, and it will do multi-GPU training on those two GPUs. If you want to use all the GPUs available, you can just set the flag GPUs equals negative 1. Lightning has a flag called auto-select GPUs. If you're not sure which GPUs you can use while running in exclusive mode, Lightning can automatically find those for you. Simply specify the number of GPUs and then set the auto select GPUs flag to true. Lightning will automatically pick the number of GPUs that are not occupied by other processes. Lightning has a flag called log GPU memory. If you want to know if you're using a GPU sufficiently, you can turn this flag on and it will log the memory usage per GPU. Note that under the hood, we're using NVIDIA SMI command, which may slow your training down. So use this flag sparingly. Before you start a long training process, we recommend that you set this flag to on tune your model to make sure you have no memory leaks and that you're not using a lot of memory, and then kick off the lengthy process. So Lightning is not logging the usage across all nodes for performance reasons. The first setting of the flag is all, which will print the GPU memory for every single GPU on that machine. The second setting is min-max, which will only plot the minimum and maximum GPU usage on that machine. The difference is mainly to keep your logs light. Lightning has a flag called benchmark, which can help you speed up your training by setting benchmark equal to true. This flag will likely result in speedups as long as the input to your model does not change. But if your inputs are constantly changing in size, then you're very likely to actually harm the performance. Under the hood, the AutoTuner picks the optimal set of algorithms for this particular hardware configuration. Lightning has a flag called deterministic. Setting the seed in PyTorch does not guarantee reproducible results. If you want to guarantee reproducible results, you have to set the deterministic flag to true, and it will remove most of the randomness from your training, although it may actually slow down your model. By default, deterministic is set to false. In this video, we covered training on a single machine, but in the next video, we're going to cover training across many machines.